Hey everyone, as you can tell by our festive clothing, this is Coffee and Crypto Holiday Edition. My name is Jackson, I'm a video journalist at Cointelegraph. And I'm Maxwell, I'm the head of copy editing. What are we going to be talking about today, Max? Well, we got a lot on the agenda, we'll see how much we get through, but um, main things we want to talk about to the end of the year. A lot happened this year, so we're going to try to cover as much as we can. And we're going to talk about the decade as a whole, so that we can come up with holistically. And neither of us are really like, you know, beat reporters. We're not specific into one side of the industry, so we're going to take a more holistic approach, view the, you know... I used that word already. Do you use holistic? Oh. Sure. <laughs> so, we're going to cover... We're going to cover... Uh, Various things. We're uh, going to talk about the corporatization of crypto. We're going to talk about the year and we're going to talk about the decade. And we're going to make some predictions and maybe play a game or two. Yeah. So, and that's about it. It's going to be some good shite. <laughs> <laughs> and with coffee, of course. To crypto in 2020 and beyond. There's no alcohol in this, by the way. Well, let's, let's start first with kind of the most obvious, how the year started. Mm -hmm. It was the winter, it was the crypto winter, and we have since come out of the crypto winter. And people had a lot of big expectations for 2019, especially in terms of Bitcoin, you know, they thought this was gonna be the bull run year, the year to make it past the 20K mark, to up and beyond the moon, et cetera, all that. And it didn't really live up to those expectations, but it is still doing a lot better than it was at the start of the year. Yeah, and I would also say that, I mean, I think the crypto winter was quite long. And so, I mean, at some point too, I mean, I was hired actually kind of right at the start of the crypto winter. And as it was progressing, I was kind of just like, hmm, I wonder about the job security here. You know, what if the, you know, what if this whole industry goes down? And I mean, I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't hoping for it, but I think that in some ways that, you know, bull run in the summer, the beginning of the crypto spring, I guess, was actually quite, uh, I don't know, quite a, a statement for, for the industry and kind of its uh, um, you know, longevity. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about crypto not breaking that 20K mark? I mean, it made it up to 13K, but do you, how do you see that playing out? I don't, I don't, for me personally, I don't see that like uh, a certain price point being like, we have to break through this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the people that I've talked to in the industry uh, have saw what happened in 2017 and that kind of like massive bubble and uh, it kind of was outpacing the actual fundamental technology so I think the price can you know eventually might break through it could be a matter for debate and if anyone has any interest in chiming in on this leave a comment we'll check it out All right, so let's uh, let's move well, on. Yeah. Right now, um, I think our producers told us that we have some sort of game to play. Okay, festive. All right, why not? Some holiday tradition uh -huh. in the mix. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All of the family get-togethers have like the worst Christmas games, right? <laughs> yeah. But... So we're gonna try and top that. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So our producers they sent us a list of questions, I think, and we're gonna try to answer them and we can work together and come up with the answers and then they'll tell us if we got them right or not. And the winner gets to have another cup of delicious coffee. Bitcoin pizzas. Back in 2011, Laszlo Haniak bought two pizzas for Bitcoin. Do you remember how much he paid? Do you? I know the answer. You know the answer? I know, I know what he paid in dollars, but I don't know, hold on, let me think. So the, the options are one Bitcoin, obviously not. 1,000 Bitcoins, I don't think so. 10,000 or 100,000? I know it's worth, today, it's worth 80 million. So, that's it, a lot of money. That is quite a bit of money. Although, I, I edited mean, for it. For New York yeah. Pizza, it's probably worth it. The, the original <laughs> article had 800 million, which I thought was just a little too much. So I, I think I did look it up. Is it, is it 10,000? Mm. 10,000. 10,000? That's our answer? Yeah, all right. Nice. Hell yeah. Nice. Okay, next one. This is a yes, no question. Uh, and I'm gonna read names, and you tell me whether these are real or whether they are not real. Uh, Actually, this could be kind of hard. This is gonna be difficult. Yeah, okay. So I don't know the answers to this Neither either, do I. <laughs> but the first one is garlic coin. Garlic is that coin. a crypto? Garlic coin. 
coin. Mmm, garlic coin. Uh, what would that use case be? What would what would garlic coin be? Actually, I think it is. You think it is? Yeah, I think it is. What do you think it is though? Like, what does it do? Does it? Man, it it tokenizes garlic. Yeah, <laughs> it's backed by garlic. Yeah. Egg to the value of garlic. <laughs> one coin, one garlic coin equals one clove of garlic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our garlic's cloves. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, clove of garlic. I say no. You say yes. Who is correct? It is a coin. <laughs> really? Let's go. Uh, okay. All right. Well, this is not an endorsement, but um, I'm gonna go look up garlic coin. <laughs> I'm gonna see what they do. I, uh, you know, coming to the end of this year, uh, I've been asking a lot of my friends a question, mm -hmm. uh, and I guess I'll ask the audience too, and then I'll ask you. Um, but what do you think the 2010s will be remembered as? What's going to be the defining, you know, uh, uh, developments in this decade? So leave a comment and tell us what you think the 2010s will be marked by. And Jackson, what do you think? You don't have to say crypto. It's, I mean, that's. I'm not going to yeah. say crypto. I'm not oh, gonna say you don't crypto. think that it will be? No, I think it'll be something bigger than crypto. I think it will be the loss of our digital privacy. Anyway, my question for you mm -hmm. and yeah. also for the audience is what was the single biggest crypto event in the past decade? The one that will define the future? What mm. do you think? Crypto, not just Bitcoin. Yeah. We talked a lot about Bitcoin. Yeah. I kind of yeah. want to like not be so Bitcoin centric as much as we can be. Corporate power is really starting to test the bounds of, you know, more traditional, uh, you know, government power. And so I think in the last year or in the last 10 years, like what could be the biggest defining moment would be something like Libra, imagining that in a maybe, you know, hypothetical future that Libra actually becomes a global currency that we've then ceded our control of our monetary supply. Usually, mm -hmm. you know, that's always traditionally ever since the beginning of money, you know, that's been something regulated by the government versus now we're ceding that to a, you know, private corporation. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think that sounds a little dystopian, but... Um, it's a good thing it hasn't happened yet. Though. Right, right. And I know people are thinking about this too. I mean, obviously the regulators and, you know, the US Congress had quite a few questions for Mark Zuckerberg and David Marcus about this. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure the audience might not be too happy to hear it, but let us know what you think about Libra and its possible significance. Okay, we're gonna now make some very expert and truthful predictions about what's gonna happen in the future because, you know, we're savants. So, <laughs> yes. Let's do some price shit first because that's always fun and that's the thing that we don't have to base any uh, yeah. knowledge on. Yeah. So, let's see, Bitcoin price by the end of 2020, what do you think? I mean, are we going with like the uh, kind of the, the way that everyone makes a, a prediction is say like some. They think, hmm, where's my hat? Yeah, just. <sighs> I think that Bitcoin will break 2020 in <laughs> will break 20,000 uh -huh. in 2020 um, briefly and very slightly. Uh, I think there will be a um, a bull run that will go up because yeah, mm. I mean, who's mm. to say it won't? I don't think it'll happen. No. No. You think we'll break 15? No. Do you think that the price of Bitcoin at the end of like December 31st, 2020 will be worth more or less than it is January 1st, 2020? We're seeing this. Hmm. A little, a little scrunch action. Okay. I, I can see that, but I also see, um, you know, lots of potential uh, uh, pushes. I mean, look at everything that happened this year. Yeah. The the fruits of those might mm -hmm. actually start to bear, you know. I mean, on the year, it's like, what? Something insane, like 400% up yeah. in January? If anyone has a prediction of their own, write it in the comments. Uh, let's say price, what's it going to be January 1st, 2021?
if we were to create a cryptocurrency right now, we can choose its name, but like, it has to be centered around Christmas. We have to find some Christmas. Why Christmas? Why can't we be inclusive? So we have to have a holiday themed cryptocurrency and we need to come up with a concept for the white paper. Well, let's think, you know, in order to pull off this we're going to have to, we only really need to come up with the name. <laughs> so start with the name. And right? the logo, you know? I'm thinking like... Hmm. Well, we're not going to launch this, or if it's already launched, we are not endorsing this, so yeah, there's no way. But um, but hypothetically, what, yeah. what could... We'll give ourselves a minute. All right, so one minute we, speed when round. We, when we fail to come up with any ideas, you guys will get bored. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got one. Yep. I got one. How about a uh, token blockchain that rewards you every day for keeping your New Year's resolution? And dis and when you fail it, like you stake tokens, mm -hmm. right? And if you fail your uh, your challenge, you then it, then you well not everything, but like you know. Every day that you do it, you get plus a token. Every day that you don't do it, you're minus a token. Mm. And those plus and minuses go to, you know, throughout the community. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about, I don't know about this. <laughs> Sounds like a scam. <laughs> what if there's a Santa coin? A Santa coin? I don't think it exists. Mm. Don't tell your kids. <laughs> Thinking like redeem for presents at one time of the year. Mm. I don't know. Only spendable on like on Christmas Day. <laughs> on Christmas Day, yeah. No, that sounds stupid. Yeah, that's a dumb one. <laughs> mm. All right. Cool. Well. We're gonna find out our predictions over the next year, and until then, I think we deserve a well-deserved break. So, Jackson? Coffee break? <laughs> Coffee break. Well, <laughs> thank you everyone for watching. We appreciate it. This has been Coffee and Crypto Holiday Edition. I'm Jackson. I'm Maxwell. And like always, always remember yeah. to like, subscribe, and hodl. Bada bing, bada boom. And of course, the dad joke, see you in a year. Or is it see you next year? Yeah. <clears throat>